During this semester, you're going to be using several different types of software applications in order to complete your coursework for CMSC 385. You've already been introduced to SSH, and for Windows users, I have suggested using the PuTTY SSH client for setting up your Nova server. The other two types of applications you're going to need will be a text editor for actually writing your HTML files and a file transfer protocol or FTP client for actually uploading your work to Nova. So let's talk first about text editors. Your computer probably already comes with a built-in text editor, which you could probably use without any problem during this course. I'm going to, however, recommend that you download the free open source text editor Atom. And the reason I'm recommending this is it's completely free of charge, it's open source, and it's built specifically for writing HTML and CSS documents, which is what we're going to be doing this semester. To download Atom, you can go to the atom.io website. And if you're on a Windows platform, go ahead and click Download Windows Installer. Once downloaded, please go ahead and run the installer setup. Atom will automatically open and it will create a shortcut icon on your desktop. Atom can be downloaded on a Mac pretty much the same way. Go to atom.io and click the download link for Mac. Once Atom has completed downloading, you should be able to go to your download section, open in Finder, and there you'll see the Atom application. All you have to do at this point is drag and drop it into your Applications folder. And Atom is now installed on the Mac. Okay, we'll come back to Atom later on when I'll show you how to set up your first HTML page. But for now, we need to install a different application, a file transfer protocol or FTP client called FileZilla. So go ahead and go to filezilla-project.org. And under the quick download links, you want to make sure you click download FileZilla client. And once here, click on the green SourceForge button. And then you'll have the FileZilla click here to download now link at the top. Click on that. Once FileZilla has downloaded, go ahead and install. When the installation prompt comes up, you should see something similar to this. Make sure that you do not click Agree on the second page unless you want the Norton Protection installed for free of charge. Go ahead and click Decline. And click Decline again on MyPCBackup.com because we don't want that and then we can click install now. And follow the defaults for installing on your PC. And once it's done, it will let you know that you can go ahead and start it. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Once you do that, you should get the FileZilla opening screen like this. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for now. On a Mac for downloading FileZilla, go to FileZillaProject.org, click the Download FileZilla Client, and then you want the Mac OS X download from SourceForge link. FileZilla will now download automatically onto your computer. From the Downloads area, you should be able to click the DMG file and the installer can be launched by double clicking this icon. On the second page you'll see this Yahoo search ad. We're going to skip this. We're also going to skip this Mac Booster ad. And after we've done that it should install FileZilla. We can click finish. I can later go back into my applications folder and the FileZilla icon is right here.